How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. So today we've got another episode of our best pro player spots in Vanguard where part one got such a good response the other day and a lot of good feedback. I thought we'd have to make a part two for you guys and hopefully you can learn some more cool spots or we'll just refresh your memory on some of these. We've got some nice jump spots today once again and also some lines of sight and even a couple little sneaky grenade spots in there which I'll show you here, guys just here in a few minutes. Obviously it's a little bit of a shorter one again but we're just trying to get some decent spots in but we'll see as the sort of CDL progresses. Hopefully we'll see some more crazy spots that I can sort of share with you guys. But at the moment, this is sort of the best we can get. But we'll get straight into it now, guys. Hope you enjoy and hope you learn something. It wouldn't be a jump spots video without a Shotzi jump spot. So here's that nice little jump spot on Desert Siege, which he used against FaZe in the finals. So basically you jump off these little boxes here and then onto the little lamp. And you jump directly up onto the little ledge. It's kind of like an invisible ledge. And then in through the window. Now you can do this without breaking the wood in the window. Which is a cool little spot. We'll show you that again just so you can see better. Now I know I uploaded this as a short the other day. But I figured some people may not have seen it. And some of you may have liked some commentary instead of just writing. So I thought I'd just include this one in. But it's a real cool spot. Especially for S&D. You can make some cool plays with it. And I see a lot of people confused. So I thought I'd share it. Now here's a couple of good spots from the Challengers tournament the other day. Basically you run on here on Tuscan, basically you jump onto that little ledge there. And this is a cool little off angle to play. Basically you need to run towards the little plant pot and jump right at the last second and aim for the corner of this window ledge. As I said, this could be a cool little off angle to play. Maybe in SND you can kind of watch over that top uh, play there. And you can also see in towards that back alley as well. They probably won't be expecting you up here, although you have no cover. But just as a sort of backup place you could use. There's a couple other little spots around this area as well. Just as a little one as well I saw somebody else use. You can basically hop on top of this little doorway. Once again, a cool little off angle to play. It may not always be that useful, but it's worth just noting that you can do it. Maybe you could hold that back alley. And then another angle from the same game in the challenges. Basically, if you hop on top of this truck... And you can jump up and you'll be able to see over that ledge. You could use a sniper maybe. I'll zoom in here for you guys so you can see the angle. It's a cool one. You can get some information from this. Maybe you see someone rushing to the left and you can go and pre-aim this corridor here and just sort of wait for them as well. Now a cool nade spot here on Tuscan off the main man Scump himself. Basically towards the A-bomb, say you've planted it and you think someone's going to be defusing. You want to aim just in line with that tree directly above the A-bomb. Throw it up. And you're going to see it will land straight on that A-bomb and you can get this guaranteed every time. Another nade spot used by Arstees on phase. Basically, if you come here on Tuscan, you'll see there's a hole in the roof there where the fire is. You can basically aim a nade for that if you come to this spot here. You can even chuck stuns through this. Now, this will be very useful for hardpoint breaking that P4. Yeah, just worth noting that you can use this. Now, here's a head glitch on Gavutu, which I saw Abizi using. Basically, if you hop on these barrels, you can see straight through the middle of this tanker here underneath the walkway. And basically, this is a very nice headshot because it's going to be hard to beam someone off this. Obviously, if someone pushes from the right, they're going to be able to see. But you can even crouch down, see up towards the boat area and that top right building as well through the windows. But it's just worth noting, it could be really good for holding the cross on hard point or control. You could even get a sniper right if you really wanted to. So next we've got a couple of little dashy spots here on Berlin. Now we saw him take out, well almost take out Sib from the start of the match on S and D. So basically if you come over towards that truck that's on fire down the left, if you're spawning this top side on defense, you can actually shoot straight through this destructible cover and... You know, if you see somebody already shooting towards A, I believe that's what Dashi did. Sib was sat there, and you can see him shooting there, and you hear the commentators saying what on earth was that angle. So if you see someone shooting there, or your teammates call out that they're pushing A, or they're holding that corridor, just worth noting you can actually beam through that and get some really cool kills. And then a very common sniper spot used by a lot of pros, but I've seen Dashi using this one, so I'll mention him. Basically, you want to come up to this building if you're spawning the defense side. And you can watch the cross from here. I'm sure this is a pretty common one for you sniper guys. But it's just worth noting because you see a few of the pros using it. So you shoot straight underneath that statue there of the horse and the guy. And then another cool little spot you see a few pros using to get some information. If you rush here straight off spawn through the back door, basically you're going to be able to watch the cross to B. And give some good call outs to your teammates to let them know if they're pushing B. And if you don't, then they're probably going to be pushing towards that A side. 
Then an alternative to that top roof, if you run down low, just hop on this barrel and you can aim straight across the top there, straight through the middle. I believe Dash used this one in a tournament a while back before CDL. And then another one of his spots from the opposite spawn, pretty much to counter this is if you come to the top steps and take them out. You're going to be a bit more exposed here compared to if you sneak over there, so just bear that in mind. So guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I know it was a short one, but I just wanted to get a few decent ones in here for you. As I said at the start, I will be sort of watching some good gameplays, watching most of the CDL games, and hopefully I'll be able to come up with some new spots for you guys, and I'll be sharing them as soon as I can. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. The growth on the channel has just been insane lately, so I can't thank you all enough. We're really, really closing in on that 1,000 subs, which was my goal for the end of this year, but the rate it's going, it's looking like we're probably going to hit it a lot sooner but we'll see what happens i'm going to keep grinding these videos out for you guys so i do hope you enjoy because i appreciate all the support so thank you all for watching guys hope you enjoyed hope you learned something new and i'll see you all in the next one